day. How's everybody doing today? Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you for tuning in with me now, or maybe you're watching the replay, because it is Super Bowl Sunday, which I didn't think of, but I don't watch a Super Bowl. I just watch halftime, so jump on, say hi. Let me know you're watching. Sorry about Friday, but thank you all for your well wishes. I just had a cold, and I didn't want to be on live coughing, you know, while I was stamping. So thank you for understanding, and grab your coffee, grab your tea, come stamp with me. Okay, we got a lot to cover, so I'm going to put my glasses on. And first I want to remind every oh, most not most important, but remember this is going to be given away at the end of the video today from last Sunday, everybody that shared the video. Okay, so I do have this free um, little ladybug set. Hi, Jean, which brings me into a lot of things going on here, like the product coordination that starts on Wednesday, and you can get uh, coordinating dies. You can buy coordinating dies for this. Uh, not Wednesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday. How could I forget? It's my birthday. <laughs> on my birthday, they're releasing it. So we'll give that away later. So um, that's one of the things. I want to remind everybody that there's still time to get in on the fundraiser with myself and Donna Gray. We started it, and now we have, uh, it starts here in the U.S. on Facebook on Sunday, Monday for Australia, but it'll be Sunday for us, and it's going to go right on through, I think, till Tuesday. Um, that's donations. The uh, spots for the presen presenters are all filled up. But you can still join in by going to uh, stampingwithdonnag.com. There's a PayPal button there for you to donate. It's $30 Australian, but it comes to $21 um, US, okay? And it's going to be, I think almost, we're up to like 48 hours of stamping videos with some great, great stampers. You are going to love it. And the money goes to a very, very worthy cause, okay? Those poor firefighters over there have been just grueling with the fires. I got to be honest with you, when Donna and I started talking about this a couple of weeks ago, we never dreamed it would get this big. It is huge. Um, over 20-something pre presenters. Uh, I think we're almost at 100 people that, are gonna, that have joined. And um, I think it's well over $3,000 now that, we've, um, that we were able to uh, accumulate due to your donations. So thank you so much for that. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Deborah. So let's get started with what I have first, and then we will start stamping, okay? Let me just flip the camera here. Almost forgot how to flip the camera. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't go live every week. <laughs> Whoop, wrong way. There we go. Saw my messy room for a minute. I'm getting ready for my um, retreat next weekend. So that was uh, taking up a lot of time this week. Okay, so again, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. If you'd like to order from me, this is my new monthly host code. Just go to StampersDelight.com and go to um, Shop Online. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, let's put this over here. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to mention to you was uh, Donna and I released our new online classes. So for this month, and that light is not shining right, but that's okay. Uh, we have two great online classes. Uh, the first one, we have the Painted Poppies. There's level one, level two, and then level three. So I will explain them, okay? Level one, and I'm going to show you everything. This is what level one has, level two, and then level three is just the video. So if you want to order this class, even though Donna did the video, okay, and you're in the U.S., you order it from me, okay, if you're in the U.S. If you're in Australia, you order it from Donna. Anywhere in the world, you can order the videos through me or Donna, whoever you want to order them. So let me show you. For this class, you get, and I know everybody asks the prices, okay? So basically, you are paying for these items that you're seeing. Whatever they are in the catalog, that's what you're paying for, plus your shipping and tax, 
Okay, we are shipping you the kits. So for this one, you get the painted poppies and the dyes, the Wink Estella, the crinkle ribbon, and the Argyle folder, embossing folder, which I don't have with me. Sorry. Then level two, you would get everything but the dies. And of course your kits. You see the kits right here. We send those to you. Okay. So you get these three items plus the Argyle. That's level two. And then level three of the painted poppies is just the video. Trust me. These go together so well, you're going to want both classes. And when you order the kit, the level one or level two, of course, the video is that's included. So for the level one and level two, you're getting your kit, all the items that I showed you, plus the video. For the peaceful moments, the class that I designed, level one, you're getting the dies. The stamp set, the dies, the great little sequins. Again, you're getting the crinkled ribbon. And you're getting the, I'm sorry, my punch is, oh, my punch is right here. And you're getting the love, lo, lovely label punch, this one. So this is level one. Plus you're getting the kits to make my cards. And you make two of each, so there's six cards. And the video. Now for the level two, what happens is we just take away the dies, and you would still get all this, okay, plus the video and the kit, and then of course level three again is just the video. I think you're going to really love this. I know you're going to love it. We had a lot of fun doing it, and if you just want to see, I'll bring it up close. We only give you a snippet. Here's all the items Everything's pre-cut and everything, not stamped, but pre-cut. And you can see some of the little snippets from the cards that you'd be making. Okay. Thank you, I am feeling better, Teresa. I just hope I don't um, walk. <laughs> That's my biggest fear. That was my biggest fear on Friday, was coughing or sneezing. Okay. So, we went over the online classes. We went over the retreat, or not the retreat, the... Um, fundraiser. Um, okay, the next thing I want to show you is to remind you that on Tuesday, the coordination product release. Okay, so you can buy these um, items starting Tuesday. So we have dies that go with the birthday set, which is a celebration set. We have this great paper, which I'm going to be using tonight. That you can purchase it goes with the tulip set the umbrellas and of course the hearts which I used up all my hearts there's also some other uh, the other coordinate coordinating dies to some of the um, celebration sets and some cats some of the sets in the catalog okay now the little um, ladybug that I'm giving away today you will be able to buy those matching um, dies on Tuesday so don't forget that okay so there I think uh, I think I'm done so would you like to see what we're doing today okay so what I did today is I'm going to be using under my umbrella now this is a bundle and you can save 10% when you buy the bundle and I'm also going to be bringing in the little ladybug with that so I'm going to be playing with both now remember this you can get as a hostess set with a third uh, qualifying order, which is a $300 order or party, or you might get it free tonight. And then the other thing I'm going to be using is from the So Sentimental dies. This is also a bundle, and I love, love, love these dies. Is this die right here? So let me just open these dies so you can see how great they are. Nice little scallopy. There we go. So there's a larger one, and then there's a bunch of these, which you'll see me using tonight. Okay. All right. So let's start. Oh, one more thing before we start. I knew I'd forget something. 
I just want to bring in a couple of um, cards that I've already received in the mail. So this hand stamped, of course. This one is from my cousin Lori. Thank you, Lori. And of course, look at that. How great. We're using the ladybugs. This one is from my team member, Colleen. Thank you, Colleen. This one is from my friend, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. This one is from Sue McVeigh. And this is the one I showed you she had done a thank you card. This is stitching. Look at that. I have to bring that up close so you can see that. She's now getting into stamping. Isn't that great? And this is from my friend Cookie. So thank you, ladies. Okay, put those over there. All right, so let's bring in some samples. So here are some of the samples that I did with Under My Umbrella. Now this is a, what I call a simply stamped card. Quick, easy, cute card. No matter what the weather, we're friends forever. Made a little birthday card. And of course, you can just see the layering on it. And of course, I'd use some Wink Estella. Again, I'll have still shots on my blog tomorrow, stamperstolight.com. Then I did this one with both umbrellas, and I used the masking technique. And of course, you know how much I love that ribbon. And then, of course, you see the little raindrops back there. And that's all from the stamp set. And then, again, I love the sayings in this set, too. And, of course, those are with my blends. My stampin' blends. Then I did this one. I had an idea. Not sure it worked out the way I wanted it to, but showered with love. And this I used the sequins to make it look like showers. Hi, Rita. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Matthew. So I'll bring that up closer. And of course, this little black circle here is actually from the Painted Poppy Suite. And what I showed you with the two classes we were doing, you could actually order both. and get Just order the suite and you'll get everything. Okay. And of course, you see the Parisian 3D folder back there. This is another birthday card. Then I brought it in with the little ladybugs. So you can see I used the designer series paper with the umbrellas here. And actually, that was this one too. This was from the designer series paper that you're going to be able to get. I just um, punched that out. So this one I stamped on our uh, best dressed paper. I stamped the um, umbrella and then I cut it out. And of course the little ladybugs floating in there. And the saying from the ladybugs, hey, lady, happy birthday. I like that. Isn't that cute? Okay. The next one I did, a little bit different. Again, a little umbrella. We got the uh, flower from the ladybug set. And, of course, this is a die. This is the, one of the dies that you get with the ladybug set that makes it look like, bzzz, right? Okay. <laughs> hey, trust me. Be happy I didn't sing. Spread your wings and fly. You can tell I like that Hey Lady Happy Birthday. Now, these are two separate stamps, by the way. I just put them together on one block. Oh, you're welcome, Teresa. Hi, Philomena. And, of course, I have Wink Estella on these two. And then here's another one that started out as a Simply Stamped card. So I'll show you what I did. I had it like this. Just the Simply Stamped card like that. And you could see the little goulashes or boots, as we call them totes, whatever you want to call them. But then I decided to put a little ladybug on there too, like she was flying and holding the umbrella. And then of course I added some rhinestones. Oh, that's okay. I didn't put an inside it saying in there yet. So those are a combination of both. But what I'm going to show you next is how to make this card, which when I saw this set, I'm going to bring this in without show before I show you because I'm changing the colors. There, I saw this when I got the, hold on, let me bring all this in over here so I don't have to keep moving the camera. Okay, when I got 
the under my umbrella. And I saw this saying, life's showers brings love flowers. I got the idea from a card that we I did years ago. And want to see what it is? Okay, you ready? So here it is, the designer series paper that you can get on Tuesday. And then there I did popped out some of the um, umbrellas on that great designer series paper. Now, life's showers brings love's flowers. Well, what else brings flowers? A little packet of seeds. So I knew as soon as I saw that saying that I was going to redo this old card that I did years ago with the seed packet. And it still opens up. What do you think? And of course, the, what's great is, look, it looks like that butterfly is right there on the card. Cute. Let me know if you like it. Okay, so we're going to do that one right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to bring in a different color, though. I'm going to bring in my um, purple posy. I'm just going to fold the cardstock. I usually do use my paper trimmer to get a good crisp edge, but it's just easier when I'm doing the video to use my bone folder. Okay, so there's my base. And I'm going to show you how to do this. I just want to leave it right there. Okay, so I have two pieces of cardstock here. Okay, I have my white, and I'll put the all the dimensions and everything in the description later. So the white, which is going to layer on here, is the usual four by five and a quarter. The piece of designer series paper, which you see, there's the umbrellas there, but I'm using the raindrop side. That is three and three and three quarters by five. I put a little of non-stick or non-permanent um, adhesive there, and I just press that down for a minute. This is where I bring in whoop, like this. This is where I'm going to bring in that one framelit from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Now, this isn't the largest one. It's next to the largest. If you do the largest one, then you don't have enough of a border. So I'm just going to layer that together, and I'm going to cut it out. Now, I can cut these out both together. Okay, so let me bring in my big shot, and I don't you know how much I don't like moving the table, but I want I want you to get the idea. I want you to see it. Okay, and hopefully I'm doing this. I'm standing up, so I'm gonna roll this through, and you can go through both pieces because the designer series paper is very thin. But roll it back. Okay. Sorry for making the table shake. Okay, let's bring that. Out. Move that out of the way. Okay, so when I pop this out, and I didn't do it quite centered. See the sides a little bit more, but that's what because I was standing up. When you pop these out, guess what? Look, you got stitched paper because it's not permanent. This is the old uh, Hermaflex we used to sell. I still have some, so you can just rub that off. And you got two pieces to use for something else. But we will put those aside. All right. So then I'm going to bring in my card base. And this is going to go right on there. Okay, so now that I know where I want it, you can use your Tombow. You can use um, your whichever adhesive you want. I'm going to first go ahead and, okay, this Tombow, I think this one's pretty well out, so let's just grab my snail for now. You can use what, whichever. Just going to go around this. You could actually snail it down together and run it through the big shot also. Okay, so we're just going to layer that right back on there, right where it was. Okay. Now, to adhere it to this part of the card, here's a little trick. 
you want to use the mini dimensionals. If you use the larger ones, you don't have enough room to slide that back there. So I use the mini dimensionals. If you don't have the mini dimensionals, go ahead and cut the larger ones in half. Well, those two just stuck together. So everybody, um, I guess you're not watching a game if you're watching me. That's a good thing. <laughs> I will watch the halftime show. That's the part I like. And usually the very end of the Super Bowl game, just to see who wins. So hopefully my husband, you won't hear my husband up there screaming if his team isn't winning. I'm just going to go ahead and take these pieces off. I love these kind of cards. They're just, and I like the fact that old is new. You know what I mean? I did this so long ago. Matter of fact, one of the things I'm toying with, and I probably will do, is I have an old album. I shouldn't show, I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to pop on one day and show you. You'll get a kick out of it. Okay, so we're just going to. Lay that down. I want to make sure it's even on both sides. Did I forget to take that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you have it. Now, this is going to go right in there. So that's where my seed packet goes. And I love lavender. Okay. <laughs> Me too, Vicki. I don't want to miss the halftime show either. Okay, so then I'm going to bring in, remember the paper. We have the papers here. Now, here is the umbrella punch. And the best way to do this, okay, is to try to angle it where, like right here, I can get that one. But I don't really want that one because it's, I want something flowery. But you see how you can get right in there and punch it out. But I want this one and this one because I want the flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is kind of cut around these. That one's a half of one, so <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just going to cut that one right off and see if I get that in there yet. <clears throat> yep. Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and punch that out. Now, normally I wouldn't punch it this way. I would put my hand down, but okay. So I'm just going to punch that out. Now there's my one. And look at this. This is the cool thing. You could actually use that or this. You can have a little raindrop umbrella. And then, of course, here's the little piece to it. Oh, actually, that's kind of cute, huh? I could do it that way. I was going to use a black one. I still might. Okay. Now I'm going to grab this one. Or maybe I should do it with a different color. What do you think? No, I kind of like that one. So I'm going to just, again, cut around this and cut that one off. <clears throat> I'll just buy more on Tuesday. <laughs> and I got to figure out how to angle this one in there. Okay, I got to do it this way. I got to cut this off, too. There we go. Now, here's a little trick. Remember, I used my little, these little guys. I'm bringing it in. And I adhere it and make it like a little stick to get it in there. I'm going to show you both ways. I did this a while ago, but put a little snail on there. Add it on here. And then you can just slide it to where you need it, just like that. You see what it does? And then you can pop it out. The other thing you can do, and I'm just gonna show you, is you can slide it in here and use your putty part of your tool and kind of grab it and move it around. Of course, now it's not gonna work because I gotta bring it up to my face so I can see it. So you use that putty part and it holds on to it. There we go. And when you're ready to punch down, just keep that there. But I personally really like to use, let me grab this, my little stick here. 
just a little trick, two little tricks for you when you're trying to punch it straight or get it right. There we go. Okay. Now I have a little black here, right here. So I want to pit, just go in and get two of these little handles. So I'm just going to punch out two of those. Punch out another one here. Oh, thank you. Linda says she loves my little hints. Yeah, I like to help you out. Oh, I mean, you take it or leave it, but some things, you know, it's just nice. Um, when I find things that work for me, I like to tell you about them, and hopefully they work for you too. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these two little pieces and now I got to get my Tombow to work because I really do need it for this. All I have to do is go in the back. I got, let me grab another one right here. I always have them on standby. Watch this one not work. Oh, come on. Seriously? Let me just pull it. There we go. It'll work now. Okay. Sometimes they get a little clogged. Okay. So I just want to put a little glue right there. And just lay him down. Let him dry for a minute. Same thing with this one. Ooh. Quite a bit coming out there. Grab a napkin. Don't need quite all that. I'm just going to put that right there. Okay. So now this one's going to go right about here. And remember when you glue it, you only want to glue these pieces because you don't want to glue it, you don't want to have glue in the middle. Otherwise, it'll stick to your flowers, your flower packet. And then this one is going to go right here. So I just put a little glue back there. And I just told, I just did what I told you not to. I got a little too much on that one side. I can have some on it, but I don't want too, too much. right there so again slide that right in there now for the saying I'm going to bring in now I'll show you the difference the saying for this one I use the other lovely label punch one's lovely label one uh, they're both lovely something okay I'm sorry I don't have the book open <laughs> I can't remember those but you know what I'm talking about actually I should tell you the correct names now shouldn't I all right, let me pull it up here, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Next page. I know exactly where they are. Okay, so this one is the Label Me Fancy. That's the one I used for that. But instead of that, I cut out a couple of these framelits from the so, uh, Stitch So Sweetly, and I'm going to use one of those instead, if I didn't lose them on my table. Where did I put them? They should be over here. Oh my goodness, I lose everything when I start stamping. Well, maybe I won't be using them. They've got to be here, right? There they are. Okay. So I have two of those. So this one I like, but I think it's too big. Unless I did it that way. So I think I'm going to try this one. Okay. And I have to have the same saying. So let's see if that fits. It will if I go if I do it this way. So if I go up and down, it'll fit. So that's what we're doing. Yep, that's the ticket. Let me bring in my mat. Which I didn't cover it back up yet. You can see that. Using balmy blue. Right there. 
and then I'm just going to glue it to one side. You can also use dimensionals. Ah, you know what? Let's use dimensionals. What the heck? Since that one is laying flat, this one will pop up. Two should be enough. Put that right there. Remember, you don't want it. Don't want it to mess up with the um, flower seed packet in there. All right, and then let's grab an inside for it and insert right here. And what did I make this one? No matter what the weather, we're friends forever. I like that saying. So we're just going to go with it. Bring that back in. And then I have some little flowers here. I'm not going to color them in or anything. I'm just going to stamp them. But I probably would later on. And of course you use that for your envelope too. And then let's just nail that. Just because it's quicker. There you go. Oh, oh one more thing. Let's take some of those iridescent sequins from the annual catalog and just put a few of those all over so they look like nice little raindrops. And again, another great thing for your take your pick tool, right? Put one, whoop, put that one right there. Let's grab a pink one. And I don't know what color that. Oh, we got the green one. That's okay. Have some nice iridescent sequins on it. There you go. Hey Donna. I'm glad you caught me too. So there we go. With again with the seed packet, it just goes so great with the umbrella and this saying about the flowers. So that's my first card. I hope you enjoyed it. The second card I want to do, it, you know what? Maybe I'll send one of these to somebody. Okay, so share my video or leave me a comment, and I'll pick a lucky winner, to, and I'll send you one of these cards, okay? All right, so let's bring in my next card that I want to do. This one Come on. It's giving me a hard time. Okay. This is another little cute ladybug. Now this I'm bringing in the ladybug set, okay? So this is just, to me, this is a cute, simple card. Just with the masking technique. So let me grab my... Okay, so we're gonna use the, the Coco Rose. I'm gonna fold that. You can see this, this is my mask, okay? So I'm going to bring in my smaller white. So the black is our normal four by five and a quarter. That's going to be layered up there. And then this one, again, is the same cut size as the designer series paper from before, okay? Yes, it's a great card for Mother's Day. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my black ink, which I know is on the table. Oh, I left it over here. Okay, my Memento. I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Then I'm going to bring in my little mask, same flower, lay it right over there. I have a little of that Hermafix, which is a non, you know, not permanent. You can use anything. You can even use a little bit of snail as long as you don't press down too hard. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to grab this little guy and make him a little bit different. This one right here. I'm going to grab him. 
and I'm just going to stamp him right over that. I know it looks messy. And I'm just going to lift that up. There he is. So he looks like he's behind the flower. Just bring in some of my blends. So we'll start with the Rococo Rose. Oh, I want the I want to do some fast coloring here for you, so I'm just going to blend it out. So we'll go ahead. Sometimes I swirl it around. As long as you blend in the dark, I don't really see that it makes a difference whether you do straight like this or swirl it. That's what's so great about these markers. They look great no matter what. But I do like to pick up the dark and kind of mush it out to the lighter color. Do you like my technical terms? So this technique is called masking. Another one that I used to do all the time. And you kind of just forget about it until you see a great set to use it for. Okay. I'm going to bring in my, I want a real bright yellow. So I'm going to bring in the dark. Do it mostly dark. This is the uh, pineapple. And then, of course, the red. Let me grab my reds. And let's see, we've got the dark right here. Okay. So this one, I'm just going to do the dark ones on the circles. And I can go outside the circles because I want a little bit more dark there. And then just a little bit here, I'm going to kind of blend them down so that he really looks like he's sitting on there or behind it. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'll have to save these. My sister loves ladybugs. Actually, funny story. I tease her all the time. She's got a little ladybug tattoo. It's so small on her shoulder. It looks like a speck of dirt. <laughs> I tell her that all the time. Okay, and I'm just blending it down, right down to, there we go. Let's put a little red there, a little there. Okay, now, for this little guy, I'm going to put some yellow right here, so his little body has some yellow on it. See, I used the different stamp there. Blend that in a little bit. Then I'm going to use the Smoky Slate, the light one, just for his little hand. And Petal Pink for his little face. And of course, let's not forget leaves. So for that I got Colony Clover because I wanted it bright. Okay, so he's all done. I'm going to bring in, you're as cute as a bug, because that he is. And I'm going to grab, let's see, what color do I have here? Let's see what color I want to use. I guess I'll do it in black, make it stand out. This one I'm going to put down here, though. 
Oh, oh look what happened. Hmm, that's okay. Let's, let me think. Oh, I know what I can do. Oh, I messed them up. Where is my other piece here? Oh, nope. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to do a little tearing effect. Anybody remember the tearing effect? If you come into my retreat, you'll remember it. Ta-da! There we go. That's going to go right there. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Ta-da. Okay. Now, we'll snail that right on there. I used to love to tear things, too. And the retreat, the girls are going to do that. Oh, the stampers. I shouldn't say girls. It's the stampers. Okay, that's going to go right on there. And then I'm going to bring in some sequins that um, I had that are already um, adhesive. So we're going to use those pink ones. Get something on that. Let's take that one off. The string stuck to it. We go something a little different <laughs> and then of course I could add some wink Stella make it nice and shiny remember there's no mistakes in stamping as when Ann says just creative differences so when you I could have also punched out something but I didn't have my punch handy so just do a little tearing effect there we go And now he's all shimmery. There we go. Oh, I see you're talking about who, who you're rooting for for the uh, Super Bowl. Okay, so that was card number two. And I have one more to do for you, which I actually didn't make yet. So I don't even have a sample of it. I just decided to play around with this. Okay, so for this one... That goes over there. I've got a piece of gorgeous grape. So if I make a mistake on this one, you know it's really live. Got a piece of gorgeous grape. And what I wanted to show you was how cute. This is our embossing folder from the main catalog, the big catalog, the flower one. And I put that die in there that makes it look like a little zigzag. But before I do that, I'm going to layer the Highland Heather on there. Don't forget, I'm going to be giving this one of these sets away at the end of this. And I have another special, so you might just want to stay tuned. Okay, so this is going to go right on top of there. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this flower right here. After I color it in, this one's going to be purple. Could you guess? Let's see, what do we have here? We have the dark purple posy and the light. Okay. So let's do those. And this one I'm going to do quite a bit of dark in it. because it is a light color. Maybe just a little on the edge. See how I turn my, when especially when they're light colors because they are the ones that will run out 
before the other ones. I like to rotate them when I'm coloring. You, you color on the side, but I also like to rotate it. If this one side, the fatter side, does run out, don't forget the smaller side, the, you know, the uh, more precision side. You know what I'm talking about. It will still color. So, you know, I know a lot of people thought that if one side was no good, the other one, one side dried up, the other side would dry up. It's not necessarily true. Can you see how the color's coming? Okay. There we go. All right. That'll blend. Blend up nice. Bring in some so saffron this time. I'm just going to do the whole middle with that. I want a darker middle. Again, I'm going to use the... Oh, actually, I got shaded spruce in my hand this time. Why do I have shaded spruce? I don't know. Was that what I used before? No. Okay, well, we'll use shaded spruce now. side for this one covers more ground I like the um, smaller marker side when it's a spot that I'm doing but when it's a larger spot I want the bigger side okay so here's my flower put my flower right there and I'm gonna bring in let's see this little guy He's already half colored, so we'll use him because you already see me color. Again, I'm going to bring in the little yellow. And then, oh, you know what? I'm changing it. Sorry, I want this guy. I'm just changing everything today. Okay, let's do him real quick. You see why I want him? Because I want those little buzz, like he's buzzing away from his little trail there. All right. Again, grab the red. I could make him a different color. Why do, you know what, why do, do they have, do they have to be red? Do ladybugs have to be red? Why can't they be a different color? I want them to be a different color. But I guess this one's going to be red. Let's see. All right, this is the light. Maybe I'll just make them a light red. I don't know. I was thinking of making a purple one, but since the paper the paper is purple, it wouldn't show up. Okay. And I want him to show up because he's too stinking cute. Yes, Megan, I do. And actually, um, if not Friday, that one I will be doing next. I do have... Uh, I have something special for... Uh, Megan's asking if, if I have... Ro uh, the Rose uh, Grace's Garden, and I do have it, and I have something that I, I another thing that I used to do, and I'm going to do it with that one. Um, I'm hoping to do that one Friday morning, okay? I know you asked about it the last time, so I will, yes, there are lady, yellow ladybugs, that's what Philomena said, okay. So anyway, yes, I will try to do that one for... Friday morning, okay? You can see I messed up on that side at one point, but we don't care because the blends go right through it anyway. I'm just going to put my little flower right here. 
and then I'm going to take my little V, or V, yeah, my little ladybug. Okay, I'm getting tired. I'm going to put that right here. Looks like it's buzzing away. Okay. Now I have my little... Hi, everyone. Can you see me? I hope this is working. Hopefully I'm back on with you. Just waiting to see if I get any comments. I got a green light, so I think I'm back on. But it takes a few minutes before I see your comments, so... In the meantime, I'll bring in the cards. I was at the end of the video, so... Good, good, okay. So, my... what? Let me just flip back down here. So, this was the one I fit. I just finished it. That was the last card to show you. But I wanted to get back on because I want to do the, the giveaway. Okay. And to recap the cards that we did. So, but again, now it's a double echo. Anybody else having that problem? Okay. We're going to go through with this real quick. And again, the still shots will be on my blog. Yes. Darn Facebook. So, here are the cards we did. Ta-da! There we go. Thank you all for, for tuning in. I'm going to do the prize giveaway, and I have a special thing to tell you, too. Um, also, I'll be back Friday morning. So, first, I have one of these to give away. So, give me one moment. Let's see who's going to win this. This is from, uh, I was supposed to give it away Friday. Jojo. Okay. Jojo. Congratulations. Jojo. I don't need your address. I have that. Jojo M. That's what she goes by. So <laughs> Jojo got that. But guess what? I have a second one to give away. So here's what I'm going to do. The product uh, coordination goes on sale February 4th. And it's also my birthday. So I'm going to give away one of these on my birthday. So for all the orders, online orders, online orders, or you can call me with an order or email me with an order. I'm going to pick one lucky winner and one lucky winner is going to win my other set. Okay. So don't forget, get those orders in on Tuesday. I keep saying Wednesday, February 4th is Tuesday. Get those orders in on Tuesday and one lucky winner is going to get that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great rest of your evening. Go watch the halftime show. I'll be back with you um, Friday morning, Facebook Live. Bye, everyone. Keep on stamping, stampers. Thank you, Terry. Bye.